Hey there guys, what's going on? Floppy here, and we're doing another free-to-play Friday, and this game is uh, interesting. It's called Last Man Standing, and it's a Battle Royale style game, similar to PUBG or H1Z1 King of the Hill. These games are uh, kind of all the rage right now, mostly just PUBG, but either way, kind of all the rage right now, and it makes sense somebody would make a knockoff free-to-play one, so my first impressions of Last Man Standing is it's basically an exact clone of PUBG, but kind of made for shitty computers and free-to-play, but there's quite a lot of stuff you can pay for if you want. Let's start with pros. This should be relatively quick. Uh, it runs pretty well on mediocre computers. I was able to turn up the graphics reasonably well, get some decent FPS. Uh, it, seems, it sort of seems like one of the games that was made for sort of um, the international markets and sort of the lower end computers. So that's cool. The map is actually pretty interesting. It's similar to the PUBG map. I'm going to keep comparing them because it's a clone. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. But it's actually pretty well designed, uh, there's some interesting stuff, fire stations, it's all sort of abandoned and falling apart, there's a military base. It's kind of an interesting um, map to actually walk around in, and there's actually a game mode which is kind of cool. That's basically uh, just a deathmatch mode, sort of like the other ones, but it's meant for you to walk around. So you can actually kind of explore the map before you jump into some serious games. There's a whole ranked mode system, which actually seems to be pretty good, except for some of the cons we'll get to. And uh, the game was set up pretty well. The start screen is actually kind of fun. You all load into a start screen. And it better be fun because you're in the start screen for a while. But, you know, they have like a little parkour course and uh, it's just whatever. Uh, there's a lot of customization. There's a ton of uh, clothing and hats and masks and gun skins. And there's just so much customization in this game. You can do so many things. Um, the menus look really pretty. Uh, they look like the Battlefield 4 menus. They're actually really pretty, which surprised me. I really like the menus in this game, especially when you first load up the game. Sort of your start screen where you can customize your character and stuff. It looks really good. The UI in this game is also very pretty. The trap systems and the armor systems are pretty cool. They add a little bit of a difference. Uh, you can find traps and then lay them for people. So you can put them, you know, um, in the doorway of the house that you're hiding in or whatnot. You can also switch uh, mid-game whenever you want by pressing C from first person to third person. Which is a little bit different than a lot of these other games that are either just third person or just first person. Um, switching between first and third person is... Kind of cool when you're in like houses and close quarters. It's kind of interesting. It's uh, a bit bad for actually playing the game because obviously you lose the vision around you, but it's kind of interesting. Let's get into cons because um, I feel like I may be talking longer about the cons. Uh, the game looks pretty bad. It looks like a game that was made years ago. I think they kind of rushed it out and used a lot of stock graphics. It's kind of a trade off though because. That does allow the game to run smoother, it just doesn't look very good, but you can get some pretty consistent FPS with the graphics. So if you're able to overlook the graphics, uh, the game still looks kind of bad. Um, the gameplay with the guns is pretty terrible. They don't track particularly well. The guns are a bit iffy. Uh, you know, you're pointing at stuff and all of a sudden shooting off to the side. The gunplay is pretty bad. Um, the FPS is high, but the game looks terrible. I think I already covered that. The screen splits pretty frequently, kind of another visual thing. Uh, even with the FPS being high, you'll just have sort of awkward shifts in your screen occasionally. I don't know how to explain them. It kind of fractures for a brief second. And let's get to the biggest con of this game, because this is the reason I will never play this game again. Um, even though I actually kind of enjoyed my experience before I hit this. My first game I got into shooting around, I played PUBG quite a bit, so I felt pretty good. I was, you know, shooting stuff, I got two kills, and then I ran into somebody who had 900 armor, and I shot him a bunch before he ever saw me, but because his armor was so high, he just turned around and shot me. And then we get into what you can buy in this game. Now, other games would probably just give you cosmetic items, and you certainly can buy those. But you can also uh, pay for upgrades, which give you uh, more ammo that you pick up give you more armor for any armor you find, give you sensor traps that alert you when someone's near you. Basically, a bunch of things that just make you 
significantly better than anyone else playing the game. Like, there's just so many things that you can buy in this game that make you uh, basically invulnerable, especially if people aren't paying for anything. I imagine the last 10 people in every round were a bunch of people who bought a bunch of things. And uh, that sucks, because the rest of the game actually had kind of a lot of promise other than this ridiculous uh, boost system. I'll try and remember to put something on the screen. There's a thing when you get first get into the game, um, the, the loading menu where you're jumping around with other people, that says, um, would you like to put any boosts? And you can even have increased health, which it just floors me for a game like this that that would be an option. But um, other than that, it's actually... Like, I wish that wasn't in the game, because then it would actually be, like, a decent little free-to-play Battle Royale game. If you happen to get lucky and get in a game where nobody's paying, fantastic. Um, another con, just sort of uh, as an aside... No, I don't remember. I thought of another one, but I can't remember what it was. The looting and stuff, it's all very similar to the other um, Battle Royale-style games. It really is just this free-to-play model that they went with. Uh, kind of ruins it for you. Anyway, um, sort of my final thoughts on the game. We went through the pros and the cons. Uh, my final thought, the game is just a complete cash grab for foreign markets. It's really bad. Um, if you can get over the graphics, the thing that really holds it back is this free-to-play model. Other than that, it's, it's really, I would say, just not worth... Like... PUBG is sort of the standard Battle Royale game right now. It's $30. If you wanted to... You, I mean, you have a two-hour turn policy with Steam, so you're better off buying PUBG, I think, and trying it out if you want sort of the real Battle Royale experience. If PUBG doesn't run on your computer and you want that experience, this game runs pretty well on the shitty computers. You're just going to get frustrated if you're not going to put money into it because you're going to be dying to people who have increased health. Uh, I think you can cause your guns to do more damage. There's a bunch of just ridiculous things you can buy in this game. So, that's what I would say. Uh, I, I, you know, when I started the series, I said I don't want to just show really good games. So, this was Last Man Standing. Um, it's a Battle Royale game. It's free to play, quote unquote. And, um, I mean, if you're interested in Battle Royale games, you can try this one, see if you like it. Um, but I, I, you're better off buying PUBG, you have two hours to play it, and then you can return it. You're better off buying that and trying it if you want sort of a more legitimate experience, because this one, you're going to lose to someone who bought one of the enhancements, and it's going to be frustrating. But anyway, that's sort of my uh, free-to-play Friday show on Last Man Standing. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys have tried this game, if it just looks horrendous to you, and uh, if you have any games I should check out. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and uh, subscribe for more every Friday. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao!